YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It is June 25th, 2022, and I hope you all are safe and healthy. For today's video, we're taking a look at a build that I like to call the Pyro Eclipse build, and I call this build that because it is going to set all the enemies on fire, no matter what difficulty they're going to burn. They're not going to be able to move. Uh, this is a great crowd control build, and this build has been viable since, oh, I don't know, several updates. So we'll start with the gameplay, followed up by the build breakdown. YouTube, roll the clips. Detecting additional hostile contacts. all right guys let's take a look at the build we are running firewall specialization we have the exotic vial mask one piece of golan and then four pieces of eclipse protocol here's a look at our specialization tree i chose the firewall for that 20 percent burn duration for our primary weapon i am running the named police m4 the pyromaniac and i chose this for the talent perfectly ignited which says deal plus 25 percent weapon damage to burning enemies after three kills applies a burning to the next enemy you hit now guys it really doesn't matter what weapons you run because you're not going to be shooting a whole lot you're going to be using your chem launcher for pretty much every enemy uh and switching from your chem launcher back to your weapon and trying to aim is just a slow process so it really doesn't matter what weapon you run for our secondary i am running the exotic shotgun the scorpio as i said you're not going to be using these uh weapons a whole lot but this is going to put all the status effects and with the vial mash it's going to spread to all the enemies so this is a great option moving on to our first piece of gear and we are running the vile exotic mask and this comes with a skill tier status effects hazard protection and then we've got a skill haste mod and the talent is toxic delivery which says status effects also apply a damage overtime debuff for 10 seconds Total damage dealt is equal to 50% of your concussion grenade damage and increased by your status effect attributes. On our chest piece, we are running the Eclipse Protocol chest piece, and this comes with a skill tier, status effects, and a skill haste mod. And the talent is proliferation, which says increases indirect transmission range from 10 meters to 15 meters and refreshes percentage from 50% to 75%. For the holster, this is our second piece of Eclipse Protocol, which is going to give us that 15% status effects. And then we've got another skill tier and status effects rolled onto this. Moving on to our knee pads, we are running one piece of Golan gear. And this is going to give us 10% status effects. And then it's got armor, skill damage, and status effects rolled onto this. Now, I would love to change that armor to a skill tier so we could be at a six skill tier uh, kill launcher. But this is what we had to work with at the moment. I just don't feel like one blue armor core is going to do much for us and obviously six skill tier will work great for a status effect skill damage build for the gloves we are running our third piece of eclipse protocol which is going to give us that 15 percent skill haste and 20 percent hazard protection and we've got a skill tier and status effects rolled onto this 
And last but not least, for our backpack, we are running our fourth piece of Eclipse Protocol, which is going to activate the indirect transmission talent, which says your status effects now spread on kill to all enemies within 10 meters and refreshes 50% of the duration. And we've got skill tier, status effects, and skill haste mod on these. Now, also with the backpack, you're going to unlock the system aggravator talent, which says amplifies all damage you deal to status affected targets by 30%. For our first skill, I went with the Striker Drone, and the reason for this is because I'm going to be very squishy, and this drone is going to take a lot of the aggro away from me. It's also going to be able to do a lot of damage to the enemies while they are burning up and not able to move. And then obviously for our second skill, we went with the Fire Starter Chem Launcher. Uh, you saw what this thing does. It's going to melt the enemies. It's going to put everything on fire, and it's going to spread like wildfire. So that's what this build is centered around. Be sure to have this attached. All right, guys, I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up as it really helps the channel grow. If you're interested for content like this in the future, be sure to subscribe. And thank you all so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.